Hey, welcome to My Legit Reviews. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Supply SE Single Edge Razor. Let's get going. For many of us, the idea of switching from a multi-blade pivot head razor to something that is rigid and static is a little bit daunting. These things have made shaving so much simpler over the past couple of generations that now we feel a little bit lost when we try to go back to something that is simpler. We're going to talk about three simple things today in no specific order. The similarities between Supply SE and the other big brand subscription services like Dollar Shave Club or Harry's, and the differences. And finally, I will give you my personal experience and conclusion of whether or not you should give this thing a try. One of the very first similarities is that this is still a subscription model. When you buy the Supply SE Razor, yes, you're getting the handle, and that's the only handle you're ever going to have to get unless yours gets destroyed for some reason but you gotta get the blades. And while they advertise that you can get these blades pretty much anywhere, the fact is if you want the same experience as they're advertising, you're going to have to subscribe. I did try to find their blades that they advertise in regular retail stores, and I had a 50% success rate of finding anything that would work with this. I tried in my local area, Walmart, Meyer, Rite Aid, and Walgreens. And of those, only Walmart and Rite Aid had anything advertised on their website that they sell in the store that would work in the Supply SE. When it comes to quality and durability, for the cost of this one, that's a much bigger concern because what you're actually buying is the handle itself. You're not necessarily buying the service of new blades. What they're selling you is the experience of this super cool handle right here. So if this thing is not durable and of high quality, then I don't think they have a business model. That being said, it is quality and it is durable. It's made of solid metal. It's quite hefty. I have dropped mine and nothing happened to it as far as I can tell at all. My Dollar Shave Club razors, which I have dropped and broken two of them just from a simple drop. But the difference with the Supply SE is that it's made out of metal, so you have to take into consideration the possibility of corrosion. So I think mine got some cleaning solution on it in the shower that didn't get rinsed off, and it's got a couple little spots where it looks like something started to happen to the metal. It's not a big deal and it's not causing me any problems at all, but it is definitely not perfect anymore. For ease of use between the traditional swap the head razors and the Supply SE, I couldn't describe this as being any easier than it is. Put the little alignment tool into the razor head, press the lever, and a new blade gets popped in. You pull the alignment rod out, and you're done. And then you can store the used blade in the new blade cartridge if you like, so that you don't have a blade floating around. Super, super fast and easy to change the blade. And there's, there's absolutely no risk of cutting yourself when you're installing with the injector tool. Because the Supply SE Razor does not have an articulating head, you're going to have to find that angle with your hand and wrist, like that, rather than the head just bending no matter where you position the handle. That is a little bit of a learning curve, but not much. I think if you've been shaving for any time at all, you're used to doing that to a degree anyway. So while it is a difference, it's not that big of a difference, and you'll soon find that if you don't have your angle right, your shave isn't going to be right, and you'll just naturally learn to pay attention. On the articulating head razors, they've all decided to market the idea of lubrication strips and hair lifting strips and all kinds of things about interacting with the hair and the skin. Honestly, I think that's all marketing stuff and gimmicky and doesn't really do anything. Who knows? With the Supply SE, it does have little ridges on there that are supposed to be hair channels of some kind to align hairs and do whatever. I have no idea if they do anything or not at all, but they're on there. Maybe it's just more marketing gimmicks. Regardless, what's important here is the blade, and the blade seems to do a good job. Beyond that, I think we're just splitting hairs. If you think my thoughts on this have been helpful so far, would you please give me a thumbs up? It's really gonna help my channel because I'm trying to get as many people to watch as I can. Let's face it, the Supply SE is a very smooth surface, so this thing is slippery, but it's not that bad, and you can hang on to it. And they've even come out with the little rubber sleeve to put on it so that you can hang on to it better. And it works very well. The big brand guys have decided to go with the rubbery, plasticky, dimpled, dappled, ridged, whatever things so that you don't drop it. And that does help. Uh, I just don't think it's that big of a deal. On some of the higher end levels, like in Dollar Shave Club, you can get the cartridges that have a trimmer blade on them. Supply SE does not offer something like that. So 
you're going to have trouble maybe up around your nose or if you want to do sideburns or something. But it's not that big of a deal. I have never purchased the ones with the trimmer blade because I didn't want to spend the extra money. I just used some other tool to do it. And I think that'll be the same situation here. I think the real key differentiator between Supply SE and the other subscription razors is the actual blade angle inside the head itself. So not how you hold it, but how the device is designed. This Supply SE has a very low angle, meaning the blade itself is laying down very close to the same angle of your skin versus the other ones are kind of up. And I think that's part of their marketing speak to say that they're lifting up the hair, sort of pulling it up out of the skin so that it cuts it off and then your shave is very close and smooth, which may be true, but it also can cause some irritation and uh, bumps and things. So I think what Supply has done is said, hey, we're gonna cut the hair off clean without pulling it out any. And it seems to be working quite well for me. One of the things that attracted me first to Supply SC was the fact that it's all metal and that the only thing you're exchanging in and out of it is also metal so that you could easily recycle these things or if they did end up in a landfill, they're going to corrode and be gone after a few years. Whereas with all of the other ones, they contain a lot of plastic. I'd like to share my personal experience with the Supply SC just so you can understand my perspective. I've been using Dollar Shave Club for many, many years, the 4X and I haven't had any trouble with the shave there at all. I decided to switch to this just to try something new. I like the idea that it was metal, less plastic and garbage and things. And they did say that it was gonna give you a better shave with a different experience. So I thought I would give that a try. It is a different experience. It's a single blade. It's at a lower angle. It doesn't have any of the lubricant stuff or the rubber stuff. All you're getting is the feel of that one blade cutting through hair. And you'll soon know if your blade is dull in that regard, by the way. There's no wondering if it's something else pulling on your hairs. It'll be only the blade. Now, when I got this thing, I thought, wow, this is heavy. And it is, it's heavy. It's smaller and it's heavy. So you have to kind of hold it differently, which is just a small adjustment. And you have to be in charge of the angle that the thing is on your skin, no matter how you shave, you have to be in charge of how you hold it. There is no articulation in the head. Now, when I first got it, I used it for a week or two was kind of annoyed with it and I set it aside for like five, six months and it just sat in the shower. Uh, when I started to grow this beard out, I thought, well, let me try it again. That'll give me a chance to shave off some long hairs. I shaved off my mustache with it just to see how it did with longer hair and getting clogged, which it didn't get clogged. Could rinse it out quite easily because of the large opening that it has between the blade and the body itself. In that trial period, I switched back and forth between the Dollar Shave Club and this just to see how it was going. I tried one day with Supply SE, then I tried the other, the next day with Dollar Shave Club back and forth for a few days. I didn't like those results. Then I tried half and half. So like several days with Supply on one side and on the other side, Dollar Shave Club. And that seemed to give a little bit better results. So then I transitioned to fully using Supply SE for a couple of weeks to see what that was like. And granted that's only been on my neck because it's winter time coming, I'm growing a beard. But my neck is my most troublesome area that I get the most irritation and it has been just fine. Now I've never used any post shave treatments of any kind. And in this instance, I kind of felt like I wanted some on my neck at first, but now the, the thought of it has gone away. It's not irritating. I'm not like, oh, my neck. So I think it's mostly an adjustment period. And I'm also testing out how long I can use one blade See how much time I can get out of it. This one that I just switched, I spent a full two weeks and I only switched it because I was gonna shave the mustache and I wanted to see uh, how it did with the brand new blade. So what is my recommendation? Should you jump in and spend the 60 bucks to get the Supply SE razor? Well, that kind of depends on where you're at with your current shaving experience. If everything's smooth sailing and you never think about your shaving experience, I don't think it's worth the $60 plus extra blades plus the grip plus the whatever to make the change but if you're kind of like well i want something different or i'm not happy with what i'm experiencing and you have the 60 bucks maybe give it a shot it's kind of status quo i'd say go for it and i don't think you'll be disappointed if you are they have their 100 day money back guarantee and you can return the thing let me know what you think in the comments i would love to hear it i'll try to respond to as many as i can and give you my thoughts if you have any more questions That'll do it for me and we will see you in the next one.